Hey YouTube. All right, so a little video on the Sun Gold 12K inverter. Um, obviously, these inverters are made to take the batteries when they're around 10.5, and that's when it's made to turn on to start charging your batteries. As we all know, lead acids 10.5, you've done killed your batteries. So you, we usually want these to start charging by maybe 1190. You know, at the lowest, that's about 40%. Um, so if you're getting a lot of cloud coverage, you know, rainy day, um, and you have to switch that generator on for a couple hours just to go ahead and get these batteries to a full charge, simplest way to do it. Um, so you're not waiting for this thing to literally completely deplete your batteries. Go underneath. We get the flashlight here. Dip switch five. You're gonna switch it from one over to zero. So what you're gonna do is you're taking it from the battery priority and you're switching it over to your shore power for the priority. So obviously why it's switched over, it's gonna go ahead and do the fast charge on your batteries. It's line mode. My generator right now is 238 volts to shove it in. And it's bringing the batteries up to charge. Usually it takes about two hours for my generator um, to top these batteries off uh, and then that's it. I'll be fine till tomorrow. It's about four o'clock. We've just had a lot of rain, a lot of, um, you know, clouds. Pretty much last night thunderstorm started and that's all we've had all day. As you see, unfortunately, the arrays, um, with it being so cloudy and so rainy, neither one of them really, you know, even made uh, two kilowatt hours a day. So, I mean, hey, it's something. It kept the batteries going all day this morning when we got up. I think they're around, I don't know, maybe 12 1. I didn't turn the generator on until maybe 10 minutes ago. And these were only at, uh, I think, 12 9. So, honestly, the house has been running on these fine. So, it put just enough charge in to keep everything leveled off without dipping below. Um, but now we're getting ready to get into the evening hours. I want these batteries up and charged. I'm going to take you outside and show you a little uh, add-on that I put onto the exhaust. Um, one other time when I ran it, the exhaust on the generator, uh, the pipe that I have on there, went ahead and it vibrated down a little bit and it made a little burn in the pipe. Nothing major, but I want to try to come up with just a temporary idea to make it kind of go around the muffler because I don't want to go drilling holes, putting tap screws in. I don't want to alter the exhaust on the, on the generator itself. So obviously when I get out there, it's going to be loud, so I'm just going to point and kind of show how I did it, but I'm not going to say too much until I come back in. So let's walk outside and I'll show you real quick. So as you see, <laughs> like I said, it's been nothing but rain and uh, full clouds all day. So unfortunately, you're not going to get much uh, charge through the sky whatsoever. So I'll take you over to the generator box and I will show you the little add-on to the exhaust I put on there. I did have one time um, somebody try to tell me that I wouldn't have to start my generator up um, if I didn't have shading on my panels. That's a very wrong comment. Um, I get absolutely zero shading on these panels. I have a feeling he may have been talking about that you're seeing. All that is is a reflection of that tree. 
we get the sun from the east travels across and it sets in the west every evening south is right here and as you see perfectly south I don't have a single tree single obstruction in front of these panels whatsoever so this is actually the second time I've only had to fire that generator up and that's only because we're running the whole house off 600 amp hours worth of batteries and with you know kids in the house and us we watch you know kids watch TVs in the room we watch our TV um, they have their you know a light on we have a light on refrigerators freezers uh, you know everything is running in the house so to be on 600 amp hours of batteries can't complain obviously we're gonna be up in the amp hours and eventually we're gonna go to the uh, the Gillis the uh, lithium iron phosphates so that way we can run pretty much hundred uh, percent down on the batteries instead of always doing the 50% uh, the so obviously that'll make a huge difference so these batteries are temporary this was just built as I was building the system this is where I wanted my money to be there is gonna be a follow-up video coming soon so as soon as all this rain stops I'm gonna take all these panels off I'm gonna build two individual frames for each section of panels there's 12 panels on here so it's six and six I'm gonna make it so I can tilt these up about four inches actually you can probably go as high as you want but I'm gonna tilt these panels so that way a little bit more of the winter sun because right now I got to kind of set for summer sun um, I've been wanting to go ahead and built the tilting system to put on this to bring them up so I finally got everything I need for it so I'm gonna go ahead and do a whole video showing taking the panels off showing making the frame remounting them and then making everything for the tilt so that way winter sun you know they're brought up to the optimum angle and uh, yeah everything should be good so it should be a cool video so that'll be next, but if anybody's wondering, yes, there was a generator um, inverter video before this one. I'm deleting it because obviously that one is null and void. I was fortunate enough to have uh, a friend go ahead and tell me that everything that they said through Sun Gold to switch the one switch to a, a zero and turn the battery indicator over to nine and all that wasn't needed. Literally, go underneath, switch the dip switch on number five, after firing the generator up, count 15 seconds, boom, fires right up. Much easier. So I thank you for that. Much appreciated. So it helps me help you guys share with you how easy it is to kick that generator on if you're reliant on battery power mainly. That's how we are. We're more off-grid. We're going on battery power. So when we switch to shore power, it's not because I'm pulling any power from any lines. My shore power is that generator. So it's only a backup system. It's just so that way when those batteries get depleted, I have a way of charging them before they go too dead because I refuse to switch the shore power from the street on. I ain't doing that. Got to do it by law, unfortunately. Um, Got to have at least attached to the house, so we do. But as I keep saying in all the other videos, some point coming this, uh, I don't know, hopefully this spring, somewhere over in here, the wind turbine is going to go in because we get winds from all over from all these valleys and obviously all the trees over there sheds over there no obstructions whatsoever it should get really nice wind so that'll be for the future so please like subscribe and share and yeah i'm going to keep on producing more videos i'm also going to start showing some more videos too on some on-site applications uh, for grid tie systems um, with the company i'm with so that way I can start kind of giving a little bit of updates and all and kind of answering people's questions on end phase and how grid ties work. So I'm more of an off-grid uh, solar myself. I'm not really much for the grid tie, but obviously I do it for a job, so I had no problem putting on my video and showing it. Um, besides that, there's going to be many more projects coming, and then we're going to be finishing that 49 Farm All Super A soon. Uh, got to get the sheet metal painted on it and then get that thing back together and we're going to start using that around here as well so again thank you for watching please like subscribe and share it's much appreciated and any questions or comments please feel free to leave them thanks